Hello, this is a thermodynamic tutorial for using the property tables in the back of a thermodynamics book or online to solve for the property of a fluid at any state. So let's start with the problem. We have one kilogram of water fills a 150 liter rigid container at an initial pressure at two megapascals. The container is then cooled to 40 degrees Celsius. Determine the initial temperature and the final pressure. So we know we have one state, which is the initial pressure, state one, is at two megapascals. We know after cooling, we have a state two, which is at 40 degrees Celsius. So, in order to use the property tables in the back of the book, we need two intensive properties. We know at state 1 we have 2 megapascals and state 2 at 40 degrees Celsius. Each one of those counts as one intensive property for their state. However, we need an additional intensive property in order to define its location. So, we know we have 1 kilogram of water in a 150 liter rigid container. So, this is a rigid container, which means that the volume at state 1 is going to equal the volume at state 2. And we can assume that the mass at 1 will also be the same as mass in 2. So a specific volume is volume per unit mass, and that's going to be little v. Since volume and mass remain constant, we have then 150 liters, where 1,000 liters is equal to 1 meter cubed. So 150 liters is equal to 0.15 meters cubed. So we have 0 0.15 meters cubed divided by 1 kilogram will equal 0 0.15 meters cubed per kilogram as the specific volume. The specific volume is the same for both state and state state 1 and state 2, meaning we now have two intensive properties for both states then we can use the property tables to find what the initial temperature and the final pressure are. So let's start with state one. We know at state one we have two megapascals. So if we go in the back of a book or online, we can find two megapascals. And now we also know the specific volume. So we can look in these two columns at the specific volume and then at two megapascals. So we have a specific volume range of 0 0.001177 to 0 0.099587. Our specific volume is 0.15 and it does not fall into this range, meaning that water at this state is not saturated. This means that it's superheated and we have to check the superheated water tables, which are further in a book or in a different place online. So, if we look at the superheated water tables, we once again go to 2 megapascals and look at the specific volume. We finally see that we have a specific volume of 0 0.13860 or 0 0.15122. So we know 0.15 falls between here, and if we look to the end, we see we have a range of 350 degrees to 400. We don't know exactly where it is, but we know the values of 350 and 400. We can assume the relationship between 350 degrees and 400 is linear, so we can do something called linear interpolation to find out the exact temperature. So we know at 350 degrees Celsius, we have 0 0.13860. We also know at 400 degrees Celsius, we have 0 0.15122. We know at our unknown temperature degree Celsius, we have 0 0.15. So what we do is we create a ratio, and these numbers can be used in either order, since it's just a ratio, as long as you properly set it up. So we have 400 minus 350, over 400 minus our unknown temperature. And this will be equal to 0 0.15122 minus 0 0.13860 all over 0 0.15122 minus 0 0.15.
it's just a ratio between the corresponding temperature with the corresponding specific volume. And if you solve for x, which is our unknown temperature, we get an x of 395 degrees Celsius, which is the initial temperature at state one. Now we can find, or we will be able to find the final pressure at state two by doing the same method. So we have 40 degrees Celsius, so we start at the saturated water tables at 40 degrees Celsius. And we look at the specific volume. So we see that we have a specific volume range of 0 0.001008 to 19.515 for 40 degrees Celsius. 0.15 falls in this range, which means this is a mixture. And because it's a mixture, temperature and pressure will remain constant until it's pure liquid or pure gas. So the pressure labeled here is the final pressure at this state, which is 7.3851 kilopascals. And that is all you need to do to solve for this property states at state one or state two. Thank you for watching and have a good day.